Hey, what's going on guys? It's TTL here and today I'm going to be going over my CSGO plays for June 10th, 2022. Um, I do want to mention 4deepsports.com. I mention this every single video just because this is the company that I work for that I provide DFS and betting content for. Um, I'm not going to click it because I don't want to give out the info for free. But you can see starting tomorrow I have all of my League of Legends thoughts wrote out here. Um, I have some bets out. I have four bets, um, 12, 12 units total. They're three units each for tomorrow. Um, we, we've been killing League of Legends and CSGO. So feel free to come join. Um, if you do, you just scroll down. Um, you can see the pricing structure here. And once you add it to your cart, it'll take you to a page like this. And all you have to do is just type in coupon code TTLMLB. That just lets them know that I sent you to the website and being completely transparent, I do get some money from that. And I, I really appreciate if you do that because it really helps me and my family out. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just get straight into the video other than that. So other than that, I'm going to be doing CSGO only today simply because League of Legends had a huge update um, maybe a week ago, week and a half ago, somewhere around there. And all of the champions got bonus HP, bonus armor. Um, they're just a lot more tanky and they're going to die a lot less. So right now on prize picks, when you look at the numbers and you look at oracleselixir.com or gol.gg, whatever website you use for stats, you're going to notice that a lot of the numbers are about where they should be. And... I lean unders on everything just because they haven't played on that update yet in professional play. So if you look at other like Academy and things like that, which is like the amateur league sort of, um, you'll, you'll notice that they are getting less kills. So I would assume that would go to the LPL as well, but I'm iffy on it because I was leaning over on a lot of the plays before realizing that. And then now I'm like torn between over and under. So what's best to happen in this position is not to waste your money. I'm just sitting out. I'm going to see how the players perform tomorrow. And then that'll give me a good idea in the future for if it is affecting this league or if they are still bloodthirsty, playing really fast paced, things like that. So I just wanted to be transparent, let you guys know, hey, I'm sitting it out. I love the League of Legends slate, um, and I have quite a few bets on it, but I don't feel comfortable with prize picks putting that money there when I'm unsure. Um, but yeah, so let's just go to CSGO. Um, my play of the day is Merrick's over 36.5. This is by far my favorite play of the day. He's usually a player that plays best of ones. So if you look at his past 10 series, it's going to be 5 out of 10. But if you look at his past, past 10 games, just best of ones, he's had 19 kills or more in his past 10 best of ones, which would set him at 38 kills in a series if he kept that rate. He has a 0.71 KPR, and I have no problem seeing him hit this number in a game that I believe will be closer than odds suggest. So the odds are like plus 200 for his team or something like that, when I think it should be like minus one in or like plus 120 like somewhere around even um i like pairing head trick with him and i like taking his over so head trick over 34.5 he's a great pair um i have him projected for around 40 kills so that's around five over what we need and i think the game stays as long as the game stays close close that both of these players should cash pretty easily he has a 0.7 KPR and has hit in four out of his last five series. And I do want to point out, I'm only playing two or three two-man power plays, and then I'm playing a five-pick flex with all the plays that I'm giving out today. That's all I'm really playing. I'm not putting a ton of money on anything. Um, so just do with that what you will. Uh, if I was only to play like two or three bets, my bets would be head trick, Merrick's and Anarchas over 32.5. But yeah, so uh, we'll go to Casanito next over 41.5. Um, he's a player that we've used a lot in the past two or three weeks. 
I absolutely love this player. I love watching him play. He's hit this number six out of his last 10 series, and I have him projected for 47, so around six over or five over what we need. He's a phenomenal player, and as long as we have the rounds, I see him hitting this number with ease. Next, we have Blame F over 40.5. This line is just under what I think would be a correct line for him. So 40.5, um, he's gone over that five out of his last 10. His last series, he got 58 and absolutely smashed the enemy team. So I think he does have some positive momentum going for him. And I have him projected for 44 or 45 kills anyways. So I'm willing to risk it. Um, I think a closer line would probably be 41.5 or 42.5. Uh, but I have him projected for 44. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully this one hits. But this one is the one that is... I am most anxious about, I guess you could say. And then lastly, we have Anarchies over 32.5. He hit this line 10 out of his last 10 games. I don't think the odds are correct. Um, I think that this team should be able to keep it a lot closer than the odds suggest. Um, he's on OG Academy versus Navi Academy or yeah, Navi Academy, I believe. Um, and I just think that it's going to be a lot closer than they think. OG Academy keeps games close, man. They really do. Um, in their losses, they tend to win a ton of rounds. Um, I think he can bring this home and cash this for us. And I do want to mention Shocks over 29.5 or 31.5, whatever his line is. Shocks is a great player, too. He's on the same team in the same game. Um, he's also hit 10 out of 10 in the past 10. But I would lean Anarchas over Shocks, and that's why I chose him. Because I only want to give out the five plays that I personally am playing. And if I gave out Shocks, I'm not playing that. So I would feel like a little bit of a fraud. Um, but yeah, so Anarchas would be my lean between those two for sure. But they both, both hit 10 out of the past 10. And I project both of them to be higher than their line. Um, the odds are like plus 300. But like I said, OG Academy keeps it really close in games they win or lose. So I think the rounds will be there. Um, not exactly sure on his KPR, but I think the rounds are there and I think he can hit this number fairly easily. So the plays that I'm playing today would be Merrix over 36.5 paired with Head Trick over 34.5. And then I'm playing Merrix with Anarchas. And then I'm playing Head Trick with Anarchas. So it's three two-man power plays, and then I'm playing the five-pick flex. And I'm playing, if you follow a unit guideline, I'm playing one unit on all of those. So let's just say you play $50 per bet. I'm playing $50 on all of those plays. So that would be $200 total um, with, three, uh, with 150 on two-man power plays, and then 50 on the five-man flex. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. We are like 50 subs away from 3,000, which is a big goal of mine. Um, that would be amazing. Um, I really appreciate all the support and positivity I've been getting. And I love you guys, man. Um, I'll see you guys next video.